27th of October, 1942, the day after the Australian success at Maitaria Ridge, the 2nd Battalion of the Rifle Brigade, along with the 239th Battery, moved onto Outpost Snipe, just to the southwest of Kidney Ridge. Leading the 2nd Rifles was Lieutenant Colonel Victor Turner, 42 years old and a career soldier who enlisted in the final year of the First World War, going on to serve in India, the Middle East, and North Africa during the interwar years. He was also related to two previous VCs, his older brother, 2nd Lieutenant Alexander Turner, who received it posthumously in 1915, and General Sir Reavers Buller, a veteran of many a colonial war. Lieutenant Colonel Turner led his men in a night attack on the position, capturing it and quickly organizing a defense against the heavy German counterattack that he knew would be coming. And come it did, for nearly 14 hours the rifles were attacked continuously. With his position isolated and impossible to resupply, defense was difficult. Lieutenant Colonel Turner frequently went to the most active areas of the fighting and even went to a six-pound field gun, acting as loader and helping to destroy five German tanks after all the other British guns and most of the gunners in the immediate area had been taken out. Although wounded in the head during this action, he stayed with the gun until the attack had been beaten off. More than 90 German tanks assaulted outpost snipe that day, with more than 50 of them being knocked out by the guns of the rifles and the artillery. The position was held until the next day when the exhausted men of the 2nd Rifles were finally relieved by the 5th Battalion of the Royal Sussex Regiment. Lieutenant Colonel Turner's VC was gazetted extremely quickly, barely four weeks after the fighting at Outpost Snipe. He went to the Middle East, staying there until 1943, and was then posted to Great Britain for the rest of the war. He retired from the Army in 1949, after 31 years of service, but went on to serve with the Yeoman of the Guard and finally the Queen's Bodyguard, retiring from that in 1970 and dying just two years later.